what it is, y'all already know, it's not to see. You know what I'm saying? I just jumped out the porch with dirty glove bouncing. All right, so we got my boy Notch C jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. What it is, big homie. You already know everything for sure. What's yes. good with you? Nah, man, I'm feeling great. How about yourself today, man? I'm awesome, man. I'm amazing, you know. That's all the way to be. For sure, man. I appreciate you coming by today, too, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me. You know what I'm saying? We excited, you hear me? Yes, sir, man. I uh -huh. see you've been going crazy in Atlanta, man. I saw you just did uh, New Music Mondays. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. We went what was stupid. that experience like, man? You know, it was new, you know. Something I, something, it's a, it's a, uh, it's something I didn't cross off the bucket list, if you want to make it like that, though. But yeah. they, was, they, were really, they were really messing with it. Mm -hmm. It was on me the whole hundred. Like, when I walked, when I came on the stage, when I did what I did, when I came with the, from the DJ giving me their bike feeds, when I came out of the stage to the side talk, they were like, yo, yeah. you lit. So, you know what it is, we going. No, that's hard, man. Uh, what else have you been doing since you touched down, or what else you got planned uh, during the rest of the trip then? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, I've been saying I'm cooking up, you know, hmm. I'm in the kitchen with it, so, like, we got, we got, we got, the, uh, we got the EP about to drop, that's, that's paying dues. I'm doing that one for the city. Okay. And then after that, right at, like right not too long after that, we're gonna drop the album. And that's gonna that's gonna hit them oh. with a sucker punch if you wanna call it that, you know. Cause <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm elevating and taking the city somewhere else with it. You feel okay. Me? Yeah, no, you out here working, making moves, man. I'd love to see that too, man. Oh yeah, definitely. This is a job, you know. I just love it. For sure, man. I need to go ahead and shout out your boy sitting there too, man. Oh, yeah, this is the big homie. This is Blue Francois. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need it, you already know that's the blue effect. He's going to get it to you every time. <laughs> yeah. How'd you guys connect at first? You know, how we connected was really, uh, I had dealt with another dude, and the dude had, we went, we went to him and we did, uh, we did some photos. Mm. And after we did the photos, I was listening to him talk to the dude, and he just sounded like he knew what the ground was. You feel me? So. You know what I'm saying? After the bike on the bike end, after I handled with dude down the line, I ended up running the bike into bro on the photo tip, and we were rapping. He was like, "Man, you might as well just come on," and we've been we've been rocking ever since. Uh, no, that's hard right there, man. Yeah. yeah. So let the folks know, man. You're from Jacksonville, Florida, man. Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County, the Bangle. You know what I'm saying? They call it Jack Wright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's your thoughts on what's going on in Jacksonville today, man? Can you fill us in? Like, you know, the media portray portrays in one way. What's your thoughts on Jacksonville right now? I just know when you go to Jacksonville, you get whatever you're looking for, man. Everybody on whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? You can get money in Jacksonville. You can get bodied in Jacksonville. You can go to jail in Jacksonville. You know, it's, it's true if you want it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it does. Yeah, it's kind of like that, that slogan they say, come to Florida on vacation, yeah. leave on probation, <laughs> probation unfortunately. Back, come back on violation. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> yeah, what it is. You know what time it is. Nah, for real. So what part of the city are you from? Uh, Northside. Okay. King Road. You know, I be, I kind of been already a street stumper, but when my mama had me, she had me at Shands on A Street, hmm. took me to PYC, Pakistan, Florida. Okay. Me, so. And I, from what I know, the north side is like one of the most dangerous sides of Jacksonville, unfortunately, too. Yeah, man. yeah. It's like that. It's like that. But I can't even lie. That's kind of like everybody know everybody. You know, it, it, things break down over time, but everybody know everybody. Yeah. So yeah. what was you into as a kid? Were you always into music? Were you playing sports? What was you doing up there, in, down there in Jacksonville? As a man? kid, I can't lie. Like, I always been, I was like, I was a hardhead, but I ain't had no soft, I ain't had no soft ass, though. If you know what I mean, like I stayed getting in, getting in fights. I stayed whooping jits bigger than me, my side. You know, like Boo say, you my side. My, you, I break jaws. I was breaking big nigga. I, you, you bigger than me. I'm, I'm, that's what I want. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't see nobody. Okay. Yeah. So I take it you jumped off the porch at a young age. Then how old would you say you were? Oh, definitely. I, I don't know. I don't see. See, when we talk about jumping off the porch, you know, people got their own. They own, they own perspective of jumping mm -hmm. off the porch, you feel me? I know I was in the streets at a young age, like running around and like I was a jit, jit, you know what I'm saying? Going to my homeboy's house, down the street, you know what I'm saying? We spend a few nights, we run the streets, go to the other side of town. You know, I was a I was dead yeah. as a preteen. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you had to spend some time in foster care, is that right? Oh yeah, you know, when I uh, got at the age of 14, you know, my people, 
you know, family issues, you know, people play dirty games, they doing it, they doing it more now, they them yeah. girls be calling them on uh, the government, uh, HRS or DCL, they call them on each other, you know what I'm saying, you know, when they come in, whatever they see that they don't agree with, they be trying to snatch you up from your people. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we got, we, we went through that situation and, you know, I, I always stay connected because I'm family oriented due to, you know what I'm saying, I say my father, he kept me family oriented, so I ain't never like left my people alone. Okay, uh, speak on your pops, man. Yeah, yeah, you okay, man? You know, the, the, he, 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 that's a great dude. That's a big god right there. So like, I watched him do a whole lot of everything before anything. My first, my first favorite rapper that was Tupac. I watched him on the TV screen. You feel me? And then like live and living color, the rap lifestyle. I got to see it from my my daddy, Sykesta. You know okay. what I'm saying? Free him, uh, David Goodman. That's a few people know him by that right there. Okay. But yeah, uh, he currently, currently, he, like, he got him locked down right now. Free him, like I just said. Uh, we went, I went on trips to Miami, top floor, no neighbors. I was like 12 years old then. Oh, wow. I, you know what I'm saying? I remember meeting people like Trillville when they had their hottest song at the time, you feel me? You know, he was locked in with, he was locked in, Pops was locked in with Bigger, so everybody came through oh. the city, came through the studio. He had the one, he had the hottest studio in the city at the time, mm. you know. So, uh, yeah, that was amazing. That's what, that's the best I can say for it. I watched him go to the BET Award back then, and you know it was different back then. You, yeah. were, you know, it's different now because we got social media and stuff. But yeah, they did everything amazing. Oh. Got it on camera, the compilation. It was Murphy Lee, Nelly, them, them been through the, uh, Wayne Wanda. It was, all the stars were coming through the studio. Oh. Long term, Rugged South. Yeah, that was amazing right now. Yeah, did that inspire you to want to get into music then at the time, or? I think it was in my DNA. That's the oh. best way I can say, because even before then, I was already writing raps in my notebook. You know what I'm saying? Like Booza say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, man. Yeah. So when would you say you like started actually like recording music and putting it out then? Oh, you see, that's what I'm saying. We would bite then. We would put like putting out music. I just put out music. I just learned about the platforms. I was uh, dealing with my homeboy, uh, Cho Real Lil Keith. I was dealing with him and he had and showed me something. It was around the time I had them met Blue because I was dealing with the dude and he was acting like he knew the business and stuff and saying, basically telling me like I ain't know the business, but it was like, I felt some type of way because I'm like, I grew up in the business, you know what I'm saying? So I know the business, but Keith showed me the independent way. Like he showed me about uh, BMI, he showed me about the United Masters. And he was like, bro, you can put all your own stuff out, bro. Just do it like this and do it like this. So he walked me through, shout out to show where Lil Keith for that right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's love for him, for him to pass down that game to you too. Man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I understand recently you had a situation with the police where they had legally stopped you and searched you. And you know, when, you, when I speak on that situation, there's just so much wrong with it because you got, you know what I'm saying, I ain't on no racist, I ain't, on, I ain't a racist type or nothing like that though, but you got, a, you got an urban neighborhood with nothing but black people and you got all white officers mm -hmm. pulling me over on the traffic stop. They went wrong for the traffic stop, but it wasn't just a traffic stop to turn it to harassment. I ain't getting no tickets and going about my business or none of that, you know what I'm saying? It was, they really wanted drugs. They were racial profiling, wanted drugs and guns, you feel me? So I guess they wanted me to be in the gang or whatever. They ain't know I was 10 toes, solo dolo, you feel me? But they end up whooping me, you feel me? Oh, wow. You know, you gotta do a move a little bit and they, they screaming out don't resist and they, they dropping elbows, hitting you with uppercuts. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad they ain't put the dog on me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made it out, but they gonna pay for it though. Yeah. Are you yeah. fighting it right now? Uh, they put a, they put a charge on me. I ain't never, I never been framed in my life. I never knew that, like, I had, it was surreal to me. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm, I'm like, y'all found something, like, I'm gonna give a little insight on it. I heard, I heard the sergeant in the background when I'm sitting by the police car, lip busted, no busted. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I hear him, he say, y'all can't do nothing with that because they had like a scale. Hmm. You're like, you're like, we can just charge him with the residue on the scale. You're like, no, can't charge him with that. That's nothing but paraphernalia. Yeah. 
You know what I'm that's what I'm hearing the, the side say to him. Y'all got to come up with something. This looks bad. That's what he's saying to him. You know what I'm saying? And next thing I know, somebody else say, let me serve the car. They didn't come all the way from another scene. And when they say what they say, they like, they like, uh, yeah, we got something. Like, huh? I know I ain't had nothing to know. Yeah. Where that come from? You know, but that's how they play it. It's a dirty game. No, nah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. You should definitely fight that shit. Yeah. Uh, especially through civil, too, for, for the beating, too. Yeah, man. I know. I know. They told me I got to get rid of the criminal part first, though. That was a few of the, really? few of the lawyers that I hollered at told me. Yeah. That's still fucked up. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Still it's like, why would you have to get the criminal part dropped off if they right. whooping your ass for <laughs> fucking who knows what? You yeah, know? yeah. Oh, that shit wild, man. Did that change your perspective, like how you move around or just like your outlook on, uh, you know, life and everything? Or You know, I'm, you know, I'm a spiritual person, so mm. I be moving on, on, on vibration, frequencies and stuff like that. Though. Yeah. So I already peaked the energy in the air. When you, when you go in places, when you go on somewhere, they going to try to, it's going to be something, it's going to be something negative they try to come against you with. All, all is might, you know what I'm saying? If you stand your ground, you know, you, pu you push forward, you ain't got nothing to worry about, yeah. you feel me? You just gotta know. I feel that, man. Yeah. Uh, you're vegan now too, right? Oh yeah, I've been vegan for almost three years. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't, you know, I be, trying to, I be trying to be positive, you feel me? But you know, we, we, we live in that time where, you know, like I just said, the negative gonna come against you. Yeah with everything, so just because I done changed up don't mean it ain't in me, you know, just because the beast is dormant don't mean he, it ain't still in there, yeah. you know what I mean? No, I feel that. Was that an easy transition for you or was that tough at the time? See, like my baby mama, she told me she like, she was just like, baby daddy, people can't do that like what you did because I was smoking weed, popping pills, okay. drinking lean, you know what I'm saying, popping molly, you know what I'm saying, I was, you know, Double cups and Milo was everything when I was running, like ripping and running real bad. You know what I'm saying? That when I was a teenager, you feel me? And you know, future was everything. Mm. So I had to transition up out of that. I just seen what it was doing to people, and I'm like, I learned from what I see real yeah. quick. It don't take much. So yeah, that's what made me like, I see it knocking me back. You know, I didn't deal with Muslims, Hebrew, Israelites, a lot of religious people, and the most of what I got got out of all on um, was love yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. You gotta build that temple up. Yeah. So I know one thing I was gonna stop doing with that right there because it wasn't doing nothing for me. Yeah, not yeah. real shit. And yeah. for the people out there, it's never too late too to change around your lifestyle and everything it's, too, man. It's never too late. Yeah. 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 Today, any as long as you're alive, you could be awesome. That's real, man. Yeah. So you mentioned Tupac. Who were some other musical influences you had? You know, I started off with Tupac. I transitioned to Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Weezy F. And then I went from Weezy F to T.I., T.I. to Jeezy, Jeezy to Yo Gotti, Rose Slid In, Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a few of the OGs, and I know Rich Homer had his time in our city where everybody was messing with Rich Homer. And he had oh, yeah. shit on lock, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had dropped them CDs. You can't be in there corner in Jacksonville without hearing that boy. You feel me? They finna get ready to do a show July 1st. I'm going on. Yeah, I'm finna go and rip that up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very well. <laughs> That's hard right there, man. So explain your, you know, your rap name, how you came up with this. My rap name. Okay, my real name. That My rap name is a combination. Like, it's really, it's really what I live. I live this. You feel me? So. Hmm. My name been Noctra forever. Like I had, they called me Lil Two at one point. You feel me? I had nicknames that didn't stick. What I always thought was everybody wanting to call me my name because it's unique. Yeah. Everybody want to call me Noctra. Noctra. So I'm like, okay, boom. Like, but me and my brother, them, like I said, I've been doing music. I love you to be in the studio, in the streets. So we, we, we congregating and one day my cousin was just calling me, he was like, Natra C. Like, Natra C, man, come on. Come on, I'm like, I ain't get why he was calling me that. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, I'm so, so hard, so thawed out at the time. So I'm just like, I'm on a song like, my name cut though, how you, I say, and I'm cut though, how you think I got the C? You feel me? So at, down the line, I learned what it meant. Like, 
because like he he was telling me this how real you is so, you know like c note c note c stand for 100 mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i'm stamping you with 100 so i'm just dubbing it c now it's with c so that's how i came up with my rap name and i just just stuck yeah you know yeah it stuck nah, i fuck with that too man yes yeah. sir so what's your creative process like when you hit the studio today then my creative process when i hit it today it just it, it depends on who i'm working with and how we going you feel me? Like I go in there, I go in there with my brother. He might just he might just cook up a beat real quick. It don't take him that long, and it's it's gas. Whatever he doing, you feel me? And he gonna say, Nah, I want you to just go crazy today. And I might go in there punch in. You feel me? When we get done, it's he like, Yeah, this is it right here. A few people come in the studio. He'll run it by them. Yeah, this is it. So we are gonna run with that one. We might tuck him up for a minute before we pop him out. Yeah. That's how I know I got stuff. I might drop a few EPs, I ain't gonna lie. I oh, got wow. stuff in the cut. But yeah, and then I go in there. I got another big home. We got the same birthday. I go in there with him, we do our thing. See, I just know with him it's gonna get epic. Like we gonna do stuff like like uh Justice League. We gonna do mm -hmm. stuff like it's gonna be them songs that got a whole lot of substance to it, a whole lot of you got to put you in there for real. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get a little personal with them. No, absolutely, man. That's what the f fans want to hear, too, man. Yeah, I they got that. It's coming. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on the music scene in Jacksonville right now? The thoughts on the music. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, it, I'm hoping it survives because, you know, it's the transition coming where we're going back to real music. You feel me? You know, right now, it's, uh, it's sex, money, murder. A lot, really of music, yeah. a lot of drill music, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motion music, you know what I'm saying? And you know that nasty music, you feel me? That freak, freaky, freaky music with them <laughs> girls, you know? Yeah, wow. <laughs> I beat love to them, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like since you don't make drill music that it makes it easier for you to stand out or tougher since everyone probably in the city wants to hear that drill shit? I just keep it. I, I, I can't lie. Like, I'm a, I'm a, like, I'm a gentleman. I'm a gangster, like I'm a, what I look at gangster, be like Ross say rich is gangster, you feel me, like, it's, it's, it's a, it's a way of being, you feel me, so, it might be in there, but it's not gonna be to the point where it's the main, it's the center for, it's the centerpiece, yeah. you feel me, is it like, this is what I'm promoting you to focus on, nah, you gotta really, you gotta really look, I really want you to take notes and take the best out of this here, and make it better than mine. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, uh, definitely, man. Yeah. So what's it like coming up to Atlanta? You know, people showing you love and everything. Man, Atlanta is different. You feel me? Like they call my city the crowd part. Hmm. I just learned recently that my, the, uh, that my that my other big homie, shout out, shout out to him. He broke my record on one hundred six point one FM True okay. Hip Hop. Yeah, he broke my record out on that. Like it get it gets crazy. I just learned that it's crazy, like, cause in the crowd part, everybody pulling you down when you there and you trying to come up, you feel me? And then when you go somewhere else, they show you so much love, mm -hmm. it's just like, wow, you feel me? And then when they pop you, now the city calling you, hey, what's up, we need you to pull up, you feel me? So. Yeah, it's weird, it's like once they see other people embracing you, then they want to start fucking with yeah. you. Man. When it's like, damn, I've been here doing this same exact shit. Same, same thing. Right with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's real bad. So you got a couple new singles, man. Let's talk about this going down. Ooh. <laughs> talk about the inspiration for this song, man. Yeah, going down, going down, going down. I just was on some real ball stuff, you know. Uh, I got a few songs in the cut, you know. You know, Boozer say uh, he got reach, he could touch it. He got young me on, so he could touch it. You feel me? You know how you know his main thing where he like to talk about he gonna drop that by You feel me? So like that is kinda like orchestrating stuff, putting yourself out of touch. You know, Webber say I, I don't know nothing about no murder, I was way in California. You feel me? So like it's it's kinda what's that's what's going on in the song. You feel me? Something went down, I don't know nothing about it, I was in the script club. You feel me? I was having fun, I'm gonna join life. Yeah. Yeah. She asked me what I do, I say I live for a living. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and how's the feedback been since you dropped this one last month? Oh, you know, people loving it. They messing with it. That's how, you know, 
that's 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 what I performed at, um, when I went to um, New Music Monday. Okay. Yeah. So they they grabbed on. Them. Yeah. Yeah. They locked on. And I fuck with that bust down, man. Talk about that one. Oh yeah, man. My I just was talking to my cousin, uh, 92 Row God. I just was talking to him, and that's who I'm doing the show with. He like, cuz he like. He like, yeah, 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 both on hot cause I mess with going down, real for real, for real. But that 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 energy on, on bust down, that energy on bust down, I'm telling you cause it's gonna match my energy. Cause he, we, we debating on which song I'm gonna perform when I do it. Yeah, but yeah, bust down, I was, like I told you, that was the first time we did it. Cause I had one and did a, uh, I had one and did a, a light, light bid, like eight and a half months okay. in the county. I jumped out, jumped in the studio. I got in the studio, bro cooked up the beat. He like going up, we just gonna go crazy. You know, he just got bite. Uh. You feel me? So when I, originally he put it first day home, but I knew that wasn't my first day home. So. <laughs> you could have capped in the title, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, hold on now, nah, we just gonna go with what we came up with, bust down. Yeah. You feel me? He came home to bust down anyway, so let go. Uh, now that's that's it all, man. Keep pushing that one, man. For sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'm with it. So what's the EP called again that you're about to drop? The EP is called Paying Dues. Okay. You know, and it's called Paying Dues because that's what I'm doing. I'm paying dues to the city. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna, I'm finna, everybody in the city that's doing something that's, uh, that I can give my, I can give my stamp. You feel me? I can put my face on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put you on something with me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got something with me. I'm gonna drop an EP and you own them. Okay. You feel me? So what type of vibe should fans expect to hear on this, uh, the Pay and Dudes, man? It's going to be, it's going to be some trench music. It's going to be a little, it's going to be Jacksonville, mm. you know? It's going to be Jacksonville. I'm going to have something for, I'm going to have something for them babies on the, the women's. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to have something for them. Yeah. Yeah. They be the most loyal ones anyway, man. You got to know that. They don't know that's how Plaz came up. Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Plaza. He came out with that gangster shit, but then he dropped one of them radio singles. Like, oh, hold on. And that, and that Th what this made the money him. right here. That what made him. All that made him. Busted baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody was a busted baby. I got me a few. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think the EP will drop? We dropping this summer? Or what you thinking, man? Oh, it's definitely this summer. Okay. It's this summer. We gonna have my the EP gonna be out well for the summer over with. Yeah. Gotcha. That's, the, that's the motion. Yeah. Yeah. You know, doing this shit independent, man. Talk about the grind that comes with being an independent artist in the game right now today. Ooh, independent is tough, you know. It's tough because, you know, you got the ideal everything, the ideal image, the ideal, you know, when somebody doing something and it's working for them, that's what people want you to do is working for them. Yeah. You know, I guess. What's going on now? It's a blueprint being made, and people want you to follow that blueprint. But see me as a, you know, I study. I, I study. I look into everything. I see it's not just one blueprint. You feel me? And what I know, as in how I need to move or how I prefer to move, it take dough. It take paper. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta. You gotta invest in yourself. No, oh, absolutely, man. You know what I'm saying? So, if I, if you want me to send a message to somebody, it'll be that invest in yourself. Like you get your money before you go to the club, before you go put invest in your crowd. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to make this out of career, yeah, uh, you gotta invest in your you gotta invest in your crowd. Cause if you don't invest in your crowd, you ain't gonna get nothing out of it. No, that's real, bro. That's you know what I'm saying? Are you interested in signing with the label down the road, or? Hey, listen, I ain't, I'm, I'm finna tell you something. I'm finna put you on a personal story real fast, <laughs> right? So when I heard about, I heard about Lil Papa. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard about Lil Papa when he signed to CMG. I was like, dang, that raw, you feel me? When I, when I said that, it was only because that was always like my dream label. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was like, that's where I want to go at. If I'm going to go, I'm going to CMG. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I can't go CMG, I want to go Maybike. Only reason I like the Maybike because they was, was a movie. Everybody was bossed up, but that's when they had, that was a little bit further back when they had the Dream Team together at, at yeah. Maybike. It was uh, Ross, Wiley, Meat Mill. 
they had them a little dream team going. But yeah, but CMG always, it always been CMG where I wanted to go. But I'm whoever coming though, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They talking right. We gonna make it. We gonna make it happen. No, nah, I feel that, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's some of your goals, whether it's short term or long term, for your music career? Then. Uh, you know, I wanna. I just wanna. Um, I just wanna make a mark. I wanna make a mark. A mark significant enough to change whoever come after me. You know what I'm saying? Direction of what they going in. I don't really want. I be telling all my partners. You know what I'm saying? Ones who gang gang, whatever they are. Uh, you know. That ain't, you gotta see what we was, what we turned into, and what we need to get back to. You feel me? So, that's what I be trying to do. Yeah. Scrimping what come after me. I got you, man. Mm. And what's the advice you would share to the youth coming up today? Especially, you know, it's everything you've been through in your life so far, man. Yeah, don't be like, I know everybody can't be a leader. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta be careful who you follow. You know what I'm saying? If you're not gonna be a leader, be careful who you follow. You know what I'm saying? And then with that, also with that, you got to know what real love is. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody want to feel like they belong to something. You feel me? And you already was, you already born belonging to something. That's your loved ones. You feel me? I don't even like to say family. I like to say loved ones. People who showing you real love. Yeah. You know Those wise words right there, man. Yeah. Definitely, but um, I try to keep it like that. Yeah. I don't say much, but when I do talk, there's some jewels gonna be in there somewhere. Nah, for sure, man. So go ahead and plug your social media, let everyone know where to find you at too, man. Oh yeah, you looking for me, tag in, tap in, tune in, pull up, push up, all that. You feel me, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, at Natra C4 Show. Everything for show sure, ain't nothing, maybe no more, you know. N A T R A C, the number four S H O, on Twitter and Instagram. Put them in the search bar. I'm gonna pop right up. You can put Notre C in on YouTube. Everything gonna pop up. Mm-hmm. Old interviews, everything. I've been doing it. For sure, man. Yes, yeah. sir. All right, you got a shout out you like to give before we wrap it up here? Shout out everybody who's showing me love. Free twin. You know what I'm saying? He coming. You know what I'm saying? You know my kids. You know the loved ones. In the big home in blue, you feel me? Top of the tag, cat out the jets, bitch on the jam, piss in the phone, smoke on my fad, shoes on my mouth, they can step on some shit. It's getting hot, let me cool it a bit.